Greetings, my brothers and sisters. I have another powerful word for you. This is a word to jumpstart your day. This is a word of encouragement and also a word of direction. My brothers and sisters, the word is something poisonous has beaten you and now they are expecting you to fall but they are surprised you are still standing my brothers and sisters some of you poisonous things have beaten you snakes have beaten you vipers have beaten you while you are asleep some of you have terrifying dreams when you are being beaten by scorpions spiders Creatures that you cannot even comprehend. Some of you, it is lies from the enemy. They expect you to fall down. They expect you to fall to their lies. But thank God you are still standing. And the fact that you are still standing, it has surprised them. They are surprised. In fact, they are shocked. Because they expected you to fall down last year. When the world was going through that uh, crisis, when the world was going through that problem, a lot of people expected you never to make it. But here you are, still standing. Here you are, still praising God. Still worshipping God. Because God is your present help in times of need. I want to read you a scripture that is going to really encourage you. This scripture is in the book of Acts chapter 28 verse 1 to 6. Acts chapter 28 verse 1 to 6. And it reads, Now when they had escaped, they then found out that the island was called Malta. And the natives showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and made us all welcome. Because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So when the natives saw the creature, Hanging from his hand, they say to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. What a powerful and beautiful story. This is a story of the Apostle Paul that he had escaped a shipwreck and he found himself on an island. An island is a place of isolation, a place where uh, it was in the middle of the sea. Now, he found natives on that island. And the scripture clearly says that the natives showed him unusual kindness. For they kindled a fire and made them all welcome. Now, it was because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. That the scripture says that Paul gathered some uh, bundle of sticks and laid them on a the fire. And as he was gathering those bundle of sticks, the scripture says that a viper fastened itself on his arm. In other words, he was bitten by a snake. This was known to be a poisonous snake. Some of you would think as he was bitten, people would come and help him. But those around him looked because they knew 
that when this kind of snake bites you, you must be a murderer. Maybe it was passed on to their stories that whoever is bitten by this kind of snake, he has done something wrong. So the people that had welcomed him then turned up against him. They began accusing him, some of you, vipers have beaten you while you are asleep. Things, have poisonous substances have been injected in your body. But you have survived. You have been able to make it. Scripture says in verse 5, But he shook off the creature into the fire. Not into the coal, into the fire. <laughs> doesn't, God, doesn't scripture say that God is a consuming fire? Whatever creature that has a fastened itself on you, you will shake it off into the fire. I speak it this for you. I declare and decree it upon your lives. Scripture says, He shook it off into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall to fall down dead. But after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Brothers and sisters, a lot of people have been expecting you to die. A lot of people have been expecting you never to make it. They know something has beaten you. They know you are going through pain. They have seen the illness and the sickness that you are going through. They are aware of your struggles. But they are expecting. They are waiting and waiting. But they wait and nothing will happen to you. Because God will heal you. God will protect you. I love what the scripture says. That as they waited and saw nothing happened to Paul. They changed their minds about him. And this is what they said. That he was a god. May your enemies change their mind about you. May your haters change their mind about you. May your accuser change his mind about you. May that judge change his mind about you. My brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.